It's crazy to think that in only a few days, I'll be graduating. Of course, by the time you're even seeing this video, I've already graduated, probably through my senior trip already, or at the least stuck in a van packed full of people on an 8 hour drive back from the senior trip. Growing up, I've always attended the same school with roughly the same people in the same community. You know, the basic small town scenario, surrounded by people who I know everything about and they know everything about me. I've watched so many classes and groups of people come and go in my time, graduation or not, some friends, some just acquaintances. But as a kid, I always looked up to those older students and watched them walk across that stage and get their diploma, trying to imagine how that would be for me, what my life would be like at that point in time, and how I'd feel about moving on to the next stage of my life. Of course, as a kid, it seemed simple enough. Graduate, go to college, and get rich and famous. Simple. How hard could it be? And as many of you could probably guess, and likely has happened with you, those ideas and observations, hopes and dreams, changed with time. More and more classes moved on with each passing year as I aged closer and closer. Those graduating went from what I viewed as older kids to people my age, my friends, those I spent even more time with. By freshman year, the reality of my situation really hit me. Everything I do from this point forward matters. These next nearly four years would likely be the most determining of my life. And as I progressed through high school, I quickly realized that I'd be nowhere near the person I expected to be all those years ago. And in reality, I couldn't be any more grateful for that than I am now. Time changes us, but experiences even more so. Even in the past four years, I've been able to take on so many different challenges, take hold of so many different opportunities, and meet amazing individuals who eventually became close friends. All of these things, these contributing factors and experiences have put me where I am today, shaped me into this person that I am. So many different roles played by so many different people, and the investments in me as a person that they have made, all to get me to this moment. To put on that cap and gown, walk across the stage, and move on to the next chapter of my life. And yeah, I get the whole graduating and moving on feeling, moving on to a new chapter of your life and leaving all of your childhood friends behind, the whole sentiment that so many share. But really, for me, it's more than that. The culmination of so many different factors that led me to this moment, that have made me the stark contrast of a person compared to where I wanted to be back in 6th grade. It's incredible. To top it off, I've made plenty of mistakes, way too many regrettable decisions, actions in my past that I wish I could change now. And I hate myself for that for wasting that limited time in the position that I held. Why didn't I socialize more, make more friends? I lived in fear of what others thought of me for the majority of my life, always assuming people thought the worst of me, constantly judging me. Looking back now, I can see how much that's really hurt me and I'd change it if I could. But yet again, it wouldn't be life without mistakes and regret, would it? It's human nature and all we can do is learn and move on. And that's what I hope to take forward with me after this experience of high school. I can't waste any more time or any more chances. Sure, things can get scary, tense, or out of control, but that's life, and the best I can do, what I should do at the least to make up for what I didn't do in the past, is take those situations head on. Undoubtedly, even going into college and the rest of my life, I'm going to make mistakes and regrettable decisions. I've been trying to not think about what others think of me recently and attempted to actually be how I want to be around others, and the results have been great. Despite the progress though, I'm not completely there yet. Looking past these factors, the reality of it all and my personal flaws, I can't help but be excited to move on to go further out into the world and make my impact. I'm not going to lie and say I'll miss high school because in reality, I won't. I'm thankful for everything I've done through it, the success I've had in the classroom and my achievements in student organizations. But it's run its course and I feel limited. Where I come from, there's one particular mindset that many around here follow, especially inside of my school, that I just don't align with. I'm more ambitious, I have dreams, goals, and drive, and I have to pursue them even if it means leaving my community, which I have no fear or hesitation in doing. I'm thankful for the time and effort others have poured into me, and I can't wait to pay it forward out into the wider world with all of its promising and abundant opportunities. If I had to offer up a lesson of any sorts to any junior moving into their senior year, or anyone for that matter that may feel in a similar way to me, it would simply be to get out of your own head. That was my number one issue, and I feel like so many others struggle with the same thing. People really don't care about how you act and how you are in the grand scheme of things. And even if they did care, what does it matter? There's always going to be someone out there that understands you, it's just a matter of finding them. I've learned that myself and have found some of these people, my closest friends, just by chance in a variety of ways. Life is strange and unpredictable, but that's what makes it worth living. 
the decisions we get to make and their consequences shape us and you shouldn't exchange those experiences for anything. Live life, get out into the world, make mistakes, take them and move on. Take those chances and the results will only benefit you. Live as you are. I can't wait to dive into what life has to offer me down the road and to share these experiences with you all. I'm sure there will be ups and downs, dull days, and stories to share. But no matter what, I want to do it here with those that will listen to me in the hopes that my experiences might be able to be of some benefit to others as well. While I'm sure that I've got my point across, I want to leave you with one quote from the game that's gotten me through nearly every year of my life that you know I love all too well. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover.